What up, Ma High Six here, back again with a new video, and uh, today I'll be making my Week Eight trade deadline NFL picks, and there's some good games, some bad games. Um, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a show of shows, folks. Um, uh, yeah. So let's get started on this shit. Tennessee versus Cincinnati. Give me Tennessee to bounce back against that um, game against Pittsburgh. They only lost by game game missing field goal by Gostowski. Gostowski's a hit and miss guy. I wish he missed that one against Denver. <laughs> um, against us. Uh, if he missed that one, I would, you know, I would be happy. But no, he had to miss this one against Pittsburgh. That's stupid. He picked like the same thing happened with uh, like. Bears kicker last year. Like they always, they always make against Denver, but other teams they miss it. I don't, I don't get it. Buffalo, New England. I got Buffalo. New England's just broken. There was rumors of trading Gilmore, um, but again, I can see New England bouncing back and winning this game because Buffalo didn't look that good against the Jets. They only won by eight points against the Jets. The Jets, so mind you. Like, the bo uh, Buffalo offense has been struggling lately. Like, you have to get it going against New England. And New England's offense has been terrible, too. So, but Buffalo's defense is not that good. So, maybe New England will look, like, both teams will probably look better than they are. But I got Buffalo winning. They're at home. I know there's no crowd, really. If there was a crowd, Buffalo would definitely take the W uh, it, with this current situation. But, uh, yeah, I got uh, the Bills taking the W. Cleveland, Las Vegas, give me the Las, I mean the Cleveland Browns at home. Um, they had a nice shootout against the Bengals, who who have a bad defense. Las Vegas also has a bad defense, but they have a good offense. You know, they have a bunch of weapons: Waller, Jacobs, or Ruggs. Even Aguilar has been playing way better with the Raiders than the Eagles. So you know, all the Eagle fans kept saying he's been dropping balls. He just went to a less stressful situation and he started playing well. But I think Cleveland bounces back. They were they're better without Odell. Um, to to be real, you know, I think Baker's gonna get him over the hump and get like I think this. I'm expecting another shootout game, but I got Cleveland game the W. KC versus uh, the Jets. That's the lock of the week. I got the KC winning probably. Probably gonna blow them out less than us because I think New York Jets have a better special team, so we won't allow a kick return. Pittsburgh versus Baltimore. I got the. Mm, this one's gonna be tough. I got Pittsburgh staying undefeated. Um, you know they've been been they've been proving it all season long that they're a great team. I know that they almost let Tennessee come back, but Tennessee's a good team, really. So that they played down to the wire against Tennessee and uh, Baltimore. They just. Outside of the Chiefs, they've been playing well against, like, they've been blowing every team out, so. But I think this will be uh, Baltimore's first challenge on the road. I mean, at home, but I got the Pittsburgh Steelers winning, continuing being undefeated. Uh, I got the Broncos winning this game. Justin Herbert's going to face a real defense. Um, and uh, I think our, we're going to be playing pissed off again, like we did against against New England. Like, we, this was a bad game by... Uh, Drew Locke. Uh, this was a bad game by the offense. Special teams, as always, play terrible. I th I think we rebounded. Honestly, L. A. Justin Herbert, his development's it's way up there. Okay, he got his first W against Jacksonville. Um, he's a good he's a good young quarterback, and uh, he's gonna be exciting for uh, years to come to compete against. But I think we get the W. We're at home. I think <laughs> Vic Fangio, he has the worst blueprint against the Chiefs. But he just he can beat the Chargers. He's two and zero. I think he's gonna improve the three and zero against the Chargers. I think we're gonna split with the Chargers. We're gonna lose in L. A. But we're gonna get this W at home. And um, I think uh, yeah, this Chargers got some people coming back. We got we got Mike Purcell and possibly Lindsey out. So I don't really know. But I think we get the W. I think our defense gives us a chance to get the W. And uh, yeah, I got us at home. I got the Rams. <laughs> I think this was just a poor decision by the Dolphins front office to, uh, again, Tua. There you go. To, to put Tua in too early. I think 
he's gonna get uh, he's gonna get nervous and play bad in his first game, and they're gonna blame him and say, "Oh, he's bad. He's a bust." No, it's gonna be his first game. He's gonna be playing against Aaron Donald, Ramsey, in a in an LA defense, man. Um, and they just have a bunch of experienced golf. He's not good, but he has some weapons. I think Miami. I know they're at home. But I got the damn, I got the Rams winning. I'm sorry, Tua. You're going to get an L in your debut, but I expect good things from Tua going forward. Colts and Lions. Give me the Lions. They just acquired Anderson Griffin for depth on the defense. The Lions have been playing very well lately. They're 3-3. Three three. The Colts are 4-2, I think, after the bye. But, man, they struggle against the Bengals. The Bengals and, like, Detroit, they've been... They were in games against the Green Bay and uh, New Orleans, and yeah, they blew it. But they, like they've been playing better than they've been playing better against better teams. I think the Colts are going to get exposed. I think Stafford's going to have another game-winning drive, and I think Phil Rivers is going to look slow and throw picks. But I think the Colts' defense will keep them in it until like the last seconds, and they buckle because their offense is inefficient. So that's my uh, pick. I got Detroit. ATL take it on Carolina, give me Carolina. Uh, they played outside of that missed field goal. They played very well against the uh, against the Saints, even though the Saints didn't have Thomas or Sanders. So you know, uh, I got Carolina. ATL's just just gonna choke again. They're tanking. They're tanking. They're gonna get. They gotta scrub it clean to keep to keep the thing to keep the team pure. So they gotta scrub it clean right there. So give me the Panthers winning. Uh, yeah, another one. I give me the Packers winning this game. They're gonna stay first place in the North. The Bears they had their run, but yeah. Um, got the Packers sweeping the Vikings at home. I know there's no fans, but you know the Vikings they just been going downhill. You know, like the best chance to win the game was against the Seattle. They should. Got it. They should have kicked the field goal, but no, they wanted, they wanted to, uh, you know, seal the deal, and they didn't win against the Seattle. I think they're gonna go on a big losing streak. So give me the Packers, and give me the Saints. Uh, Nick Foles struggles against the Saints every time he plays them. He's 0 for 2 against them in the playoffs. I don't know the regular season record. Uh, I think Drew Brees is gonna go into Chicago. He's gonna play. It's gonna be tough against that defense, Chicago. But you know, the offense. The offense for the uh, Bears is very inefficient, very terrible. So, uh, yeah, I got the Saints. Seattle, San Francisco, I got the Seattle Seahawks winning and bouncing back. They played a very back-and-forth game against the Cardinals. The, I, like, everyone's opinion is the best game of the year. I totally agree. Kyler Murray like coming back and getting the, um giving his team a chance to kick the field goal tie it that was awesome and then in overtime the shenanigans happened but i think seattle bounces back they're at home and going back home place uh san francisco who had a very statement game against uh bill belichick and a statement game for garoppolo to being his former coach you always want to say you always want to prove your former coach wrong and it wasn't really belichick won i'm gonna with crap but you know it is what it is so i got seattle winning uh, I got Philly winning. There's, there's gonna be fans. Dallas is openly tanking, okay? They're, Dallas is in the mess, okay? And I kind of love it because my dad's a Dallas Cowboys fan, and it's funny. Uh, and I think Philadelphia, they played bad against the, the Giants. They like barely won, but same with the Dallas, and that was with Dak for most of the part. So I think Philly. They got Lane Johnson back. Obviously, they lost to Sean Jackson for a few weeks again. He's never healthy. But the guys that they have, like, they're working on offense. They're working with the guys that they have, like, a bunch of injuries. They're doing okay. I think they're going to win the division at the end of the year. They're probably going to be under 500, but they're going to be making it in the playoffs. I got Philly at home. Tampa Bay versus, uh, New Tampa Bay versus the Giants. I got Tampa Bay winning. Brady versus New York. Never good for Brady, but you know, this is a different New York team. This is Danny Thumble Stumble, but it wasn't really his fault that they lost the Eagles. It was Ingram, and you know, it was Ingram, but really, you know, Ingram was the scapegoat, but it, it is Ingram. But Tampa Bay, 
I think uh, after beating the Raiders, thank you, Tom Brady. Um, and, you know, New York with, like, that blown lead against the uh, Eagles, like, it's going to be, uh, I think New York's defense will keep them in it for the first half, and then Brady's just going to take over in the second half. So, those are my picks for week eight. Um, we'll see if there's more trades. We saw the Anderson Griffin trade. That was pretty um, interesting. And Quinn Williams is on the trade block for the Jets. There's going to be others. A lot of Steph Stephon Gilmore rumors. So it's pretty cool that we got the trade deadline. It's pretty cool. And so that is it for me. Uh, Mile High 6 Sports signing out. Those are my picks for week 8. Um, I'll probably do like a trade recap uh, for week 8. Because I want to know if the Broncos do anything. Uh, are they going to stay still and keep the team as it is? Or are they going to buy? Are they going to sell? I have no idea. My assumption is, if they win against the Chargers, they're going to buy. If they lose against the Chargers, they're going to sell. That's my assumption here. But, like, other than that, Mile High 6 out. Peace. Have a good day. Go Broncos. And uh, let's have a good trade deadline and all that stuff.